Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon D7000 and Pentax K50. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon D7000 and the Pentax K50 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 30th of November 2010 and the 27th of November 2013. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D7000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Pentax K50. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon D7000 and the Pentax K50. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon D7000. And here are some sample photos from the Pentax K50. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D7000. After using the D7000 for over a year, I can say that there is a learning curve when it comes to getting the autofocus to consistently work well. Initially, I had issues with soft and out-of-focus images, but after some practice and reading forums, I learned some tricks to improve the autofocus reliability. Using specific focus modes, faster shutter speeds, and AF on helped me to overcome these challenges. Despite the learning curve, I still rate the D7000 5 stars due to its incredible image quality, low light performance, dynamic range, and features. If you're not willing to put in the effort to learn the autofocus system, this may not be the right camera for you. The Nikon D7000 is a great camera, but there were some initial issues with focusing and hot pixels in live view mode. However, these problems have been addressed with firmware updates. I found the kit lens to be surprisingly good, and the camera performs well in various light situations. The video focusing can be a bit noisy, but adding a shotgun microphone helped improve the audio quality. Overall, the D7000 is a fantastic still camera, and with the right lenses it can produce stunning images. Here's what people have to say about the Pentax K50. I originally bought the K50 for my honeymoon photos, and it exceeded my expectations. The in-body image stabilization and weather sealing make a huge difference in photo quality and versatility. The only downside is that there are fewer Pentax lenses and accessories available compared to Canon and Nikon. Overall, the value of the K50 and the I've been using the Pentax K50 for two years now, and I would recommend it for beginner to intermediate photographers. It's weather sealed, has a max ISO of 51,600, and customizable features. The true resolution is only 16.2 megapixels, but it's a great price for a weather sealed camera at about $300. There are only about 110 lenses available, but overall the advantages outweigh the downsides. I would give it 4 stars. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon D7000. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Pentax K50. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. 